Hello everyone, it's Halloween Haunt Kit, and today we're going to be taking a look at Dollar Tree's little online lineup, because it's it's not everything, for sure, but um, they have put some stuff online. Now, I'm honestly a little bit late to this, but uh, what are you going to do? So, I'm going to end this clip and switch it to... Unless I can do that in here, I'm not used to Bandicam. Okay, so I just got it in full screen. Um, yeah, let's end this clip. It'll be easier. Okay, guys, um, now we're going to be taking a look at that Dollar Tree stuff. So you can see already on their homepage, they have a bunch of fall shop now and pumpkin stuff along with this little thing right here with kind of Halloween stuff. They have the skull, the ghost, the pumpkin, or the jack-o'-lantern, and they've made a little witch hat. And I guess you can buy all of those things at the Dollar Tree. But we are not going to click on that. We're going to search up Halloween decorations. that and then once this loads there should be a couple okay 149 products I guess starting with this skull which you have to buy it in bulk that's the way Dollar Tree works unless it's in the um in the store then you can buy them separate of course but um this one has a pretty good rating 4.7 almost 5 4.5 for these these skulls are here every year, but this looks kind of interesting. Let's take a quick look at this. Seems like one of those average Dollar Tree signs with the, um, I don't know what they call that material. The witch is in part definitely is that material. I don't know about the witch itself, though. It could just be cardboard or paper. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's cheap material. It's a dollar twenty-five. So, I only have 10 minutes to do this. I'm going to try and get it done. <laughs> if I can't get it in one video, then I guess I'll make a part two. But, um, oh, went down a little too far. So, these are your average tinsel items. These ones happen to be witch hats. Once again, $1.25 from a $1.25 tree. That's what they're called now, basically. Um, there's a gnome. I don't know if you can buy that, but you can make it. Um, this is new, I think. They have the Halloween Bride and Groom Skeleton. $1.25 each. Now, I'm sure they're going to be separate, of course. Because they're not going to... Um, oh, I like how that's still called the Kmart Plaza, even though Big Lux and Aldi are there now. <laughs> but, I mean, this looks pretty cool. Probably about what you'd get at Big Lux or... Actually, I don't know, because I happen to have a Dollar Tree skeleton hanging up on my wall right now. I bought it at Goodwill for like a dollar twelve, which would be overpriced, but it isn't now. And it's kind of a cheaper quality. But let's move on to these skeletons. I'm not sure. I think the bird is new and the rat, but I'm sure the skeleton, I mean the skeleton spider has always been so, dollar twenty-five each. There's another. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. It actually doesn't look that bad. Just your average, like, materials for the plastic and stuff. But um, yeah. Here's all these. They seem to be probably about the same. Then here's something else you can make. Here's the miniature skulls. These things change look every year. They seem to be getting cheaper by the year. <laughs> but you get eight of them in a bag. A dollar twenty-five per unit. And then here's a plastic mermaid skeleton. I'm probably I'm pretty sure it's the same quality as the one I have hanging up on my wall right now, which is not very good. But you can get this, I guess. Wow. It's probably the cheap 
thing, but you can find that on Amazon for like 20 bucks and it's still going to rip apart on you every time. So I, I guess it'd be better to get it for 5 bucks. The, what? $5? Oh my god. Um, that sucks. <laughs> so you have your lights and little table runners and stuff. Here's more lights. Purple ones. And you have the wreath holder thing some signs stuff like that I guess there's birds in a cage you gotta get the bird and the rat and then buy two garbage cans basically that's how you can make that and there's a couple signs more signs or they look thicker they might be more of like a tabletop thing and these are pretty cheap I've had the same thing these are what I had actually and I'm sure those ones above are the same as those ones. These are some cheap, flimsy plastic, and you'll see it when you go there. They are not worth the dollar twenty-five when you could get a lot better stuff. Honestly, I miss the um the old Dollar Tree Halloween. They used to have plastic hands and stuff. It was pretty cool. But here's these more tinsel stuff. But um, like I was saying, they had the plastic hands, plastic feet at one point. They had that blood on the black label. It's pretty cool. Oh, they always had these. These are pretty cool. And I guess this is like door, window type stuff you gotta put on there. Um, yeah, we're done with the first page, so I think I'm gonna end the clip here. Let's get back to Bandicam. Oh. Uh, did it stop on? Am I talking to myself? Oh. No, I'm not. Luckily. Man, that would have sucked. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to end it here because I have the six minute clip. So, yeah, goodbye. Hey guys, I'm back for part two with this low quality Bandicam camera. Um, it's probably not Bandicam that's low quality. I have a really old laptop. But, um, there's a wacky mole in the background. He was there in the last video, too. Um, yeah, let's get started with the um, Dollar Tree stuff, or whatever. I can pause this, and I wonder if I can switch it while it's paused. Well, it turns out I can't do that. Or, I would have switched it to the screen. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this clip. Let's see Wacky Mo one more time. Goodbye, I guess. On to the next clip. Okay, so, now we're back. And I'm going to pull up the Dollar Tree tab again. So we left off on the very bottom of the first page. Let's go to the second one now. Okay, so... Oh, I like these. They're kind of a one-year thing. The little sticky gel letters and crap. But I like them. They're pretty cool. And then here's your cheap Dollar Tree signs. These ones look different from the ones on the other page. And you actually have ornaments. And I'm sure they don't come with hooks. They're probably strings that you tie on. But whatever. And then down here you have the more craft stuff. Along with these craft tiny skulls and pumpkins. And you can make those. <laughs> well, I guess you can get an 18 pack of bones. More cheap signs. Um, this one says trick or treat. Beware of black cat crossing. Happy Halloween. The witch is in. The other one said that too. Remember on the first page. Um, here's some little glitter spiders. Six count. And I actually have this. I think I bought it at Walmart though for like three dollars, which was a ripoff, I guess. And there's the bloody lineman one too. So I might buy this this year. And you can make a candy corn wreath. Of course with real candy corn. Because nobody eats that crap anyway. Then there's the plastic glasses. Or goblets they call them. It's a fancy name for something you use to drink stuff out of. Um, here's the tinsel Day of the Dead sugar skull. It's pretty cool. And there's the tinsel garland that you can use to make all this stuff. It's pretty cool. Another sign. I like those signs, but I really like the ones that had that, like, almost tombstone shape. 
they had them for years. Uh, here's the lookbook. I might check that out later. But um, as I was saying, they had the um the signs that basically looked like tombstones, and they had one of them I actually have in my attic right now, and it said um like a bunch of food things with like body parts in them and stuff like rat stew or something. A pinch of foot or something. It's kind of dumb, but it's pretty cool at the same time. Here's the Halloween lookbook. Uh, this isn't even Halloween anymore. It's just balloons. <laughs> More craft stuff. Branches. Um, some smaller stuff. Cookie cutters. That's pretty cool. More goblets, or these ones are just called plastic cups. Of course, I mess it up every time. Um, more craft stuff again. And you can make the cupcake stands with a bunch of crap from Dollar Tree, like a printed bowl with a sugar skull on it. Um, these little crafters bats and that stuff, the wicked boo, spooky happy Halloween junk like that. I'm pretty sure those are ornaments for the tree that doesn't get sold at Dollar Tree. There's pumpkin decoration sets. I'm sure they don't come with whatever you need to paint them pink, black, blue, and green. But they probably have a couple stickers or something. It's pretty cool. Um, here's like egg carton creatures. The heck? That is creative. That's all I can say about that. So this was really quick. I'm going to switch to the third page now. Oh, well, now we're getting to more interesting stuff again. Um, so these were the Dollar Tree last year. I'm not sure about the other colors, but my mom actually picked up two of these green ones for our Halloween party. And we usually have a little haunted house, but we didn't this year, last year. And here's a bat. Surely the cheap plastic like the rest of them are. Um, here's the basically the same skeleton I have hanging on my wall right now, except it doesn't glow in the dark. <laughs> and I'm sure we'll come across that farther down here. So you have your little skeletal ghouls, the hanging things. And I guess you stick this in the ground. But most people would not stick it in the ground all the way. I know I usually don't. No matter how hard I try, there's always some extra left up. Um, I bought this last year. I think I bought two of them. There's a ping pong eyeballs. They're pretty cool. Um, skeleton unicorn. Just the same stuff over and over again, basically. Same stuff every year. These things I've seen every year since like 2012. They really have them all of the time. And, oh, the squeaking rat. I'm going to take a look at this one, actually. So, my brother actually bought this exact same thing in, like, 2013, 14-ish, sometime around then. I am not paying $30 to buy 24 of them. I'm not doing that. Get out of here. <laughs> Uh, I might buy one in the store, though. I don't know. It's probably... There was one that he bought at Spirit Halloween, and there was one he bought at Dollar Tree. Oh, now we're back to the beginning. Let's get back to where we were. Oh, God. I need full screen. So we were on page three. We went past all this stuff. And we're back to where we were, basically. Yep, we were at the rat. Um, here's a light-up skeleton. 10 inches, $1.25. Surprising that it lights up, actually. Lights and a tombstone. Oh, it's a coffin, actually. When are we going to find the tombstone? I'm actually curious about that. I'm not sure if it's on the site or not. Oh, here's page one of four again. 
Why does this keep doing that? I don't want it to do that. I just want to stay where I'm at. Oh, now I've highlighted everything green, of course. Oh, lord. Oh, I didn't see these. The little trick-or-treat baskets. I'm sure they're bigger in real life. Um, let's go back to page three and not click on anything this time, because I don't want to get reset. Um, let's look at these down here. So we saw that. There's your spider web. Oh, here's the plastic rats. They're pretty cool, too. This is the exact same thing I bought. I knew we'd come across it at some point. And here's creepy cloth. I guess they've changed their label this year to orange instead of purple. Black light bulbs. And a uh, small skeleton. I'm sure that's crafts. Yep. See it right there. And then these connecting things. They had these last year. And for a couple years now. Probably like two or three at least. Um, I'm sure you hang this on your door. More spider web, but this one's colored or multi colored. You get a bundle of it all carvable pumpkin, witch hat, metal wreath, starting thing, the metal part, uh, candy corn, a bunch of dumb stuff that's barely even Halloween, except for that. I mean, unless you count black balloons as a Halloween decoration, nothing here is Halloween. Okay, here's Day of the Dead stuff. We're kind of getting out of the Halloween, I guess. So there's like assorted jewels and stuff. And then there's Day of the Dead cats and skeleton skulls with leaves on them. Let's go to the last page and just get this over with. But I'm sure I'm going to have to fly through this because I'm almost out of time. Um, so there's the last page again. Let's wait for this to load. Oh, did it load? Oh no, that's not good. Oh no, what did I do now? I guess you can get a closer look at that. I think there isn't a fourth page. You can go check on your own if you want, but um, I don't think there's a fourth page. Because I clicked on it and it still kept me at the third page. It loaded and everything, but I'm still here. And it took me to the bat from the third page. <laughs> With a quantity of four. For five dollars. Oh my god. Okay, I'm done with this. I'm gonna record a separate video for the catalog. Let's go back to Bandicam. Yep. Three, two, one, and goodbye.